morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's only morning for eight more minutes, but whatever. I know it's been forever since I posted a fishing video. I've been trying to work on one. Been out here a couple times in the last few weeks trying to put some stuff together. So this video may be a little bit of a collection of a few uh, days put together, but we'll see. Um, all depends on how good the luck is today. I'm uh, pulling into the entrance now, my favorite place, E.G. Simmons Park. We're gonna see what we can catch today. I would love to have a seafood dinner tonight and uh, probably not something that I took out of the freezer. So we'll see how it goes. Recently, I have been fishing a lot off the bank and not off the docks like all my other videos. Um, and I got a good spot over here by the kayak launch hoping it's not taken today it was taken yesterday oh and it looks like there's somebody there darn it there's a couple different holes right along this channel uh after the kayak launch so i maybe may get lucky and be able to get it one of them oh doing a little off-road in here in the rav4 Was getting low on tackle too so i did stop at the bait shop and i got some more bait holder hooks i really seem to like those better than anything because they really grip the shrimp pretty well so all right let's get set up and see what happens all right let's flip you around here so here's our little hole that we're going to try to fish from it's got a good enough spot to put a chair right here i can just fish out of this little canal that, like I said, it runs right off the kayak launch. So, let's get our stuff set up and let's get going. All right, I am changing hooks out from what I had on here yesterday. This is a uh, double lot bait holder hook. It's got these little, little barbs at the back. If you can see that, pretty much will hold your bait from falling down your hook. They seem to be my preference these days. We're just gonna I hear people out there on the water talking. We're just gonna tie a, I think it's called a palomar knot. Basically you take your hook and your line from your leader, put it through the eye of the hook, loop it back again. So now you got two lines going through the hook and you make yourself a little loop around your finger. <clears throat> Take your tag and wrap it four times around your main line. And then you take that and you bring it back through the two loops that you created. And then uh, make sure Make sure you wet it so there's no friction in your line, and then you pull that tight, and you watch those come down and form the barrels on top of the hook, and now you're good to go. And for something like this, because obviously you don't want to jag yourself with the hook, I just hook it into something, I can pull it nice and tight. And then you just cut your tag off. Now you're good to go. All right, let's get set up out there. All right, we're out here now, we're ready. Just using a frozen shrimp. Like I said, you wrap it around all the way that hook and the bait holder barbs in there hold the shrimp good and tight, all the way up the shank of the hook, so. We're ready here, let's see if I can cast out with one hand on the camera. Okay, now we're ready. Let's see what happens. All right. Take up a little of the slack. Uh, let's sit down here in the chair. Let's see what happens. Oh, the current today is moving to the right. All right, let's 
Let's see if I can find a way to put you guys down. Look at the snake. Is that a water moccasin? Do water moccasins swim in salt water? That's a good question. That is the first time I think I've ever seen a snake out here at this park. It's kind of cool and scary at the same time. Obviously, a water moccasin will definitely kill you. Let's see if anything. No, nothing's taking that shrimp yet. Oh, but I don't get skunked. I was kind of skunked yesterday. It's kind of a dual situation where the short time I was out here, nothing was biting, and then uh, the rain sent me packing, so... Yesterday, I would say I was skunked. <laughs> hey, fish, 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 fish. You got to say that every time. It's customary. It's kind of like clicking the tongs before you use them. It's a must. If you don't, you're guaranteed to get no fish. Check out the fiddler crabs, see if I can see them. Standing up, raising their claws at each other. Like, come at me, bro. Not about trying to use them for bait, but as soon as you twitch, they run back into the ground. <laughs> That was, that was a very bad cast. I bet that threw the shrimp right off of it too. <clears throat> no, still there, got lucky. That is what happens when you release this finger too late. Now we're better equipped to be in the Florida sun. Got my trusty, my lucky fishing hat on. You gotta watch her, the tide's coming in. You can't sit in one spot too long or I'll be sitting in water. According to the internet, a good 
fishing time today was supposed to be between like 1.30 and 3.30. Uh, which based on the tide chart equated to like during the peak of high, you know, the hour leading up to high and the hour leading in below. Uh, which is still about an hour before that time comes up. But I got nothing else to do today, so sit here and fish until either I catch something or the rain kicks me out. I need to move you guys over to here so that the camera is not in direct sun. The phones tend to freak out when they're in direct sun too much. Either the tide is wrong or I picked the wrong spot to fish today. I don't know if you can see it, but just chilling right there is like, oh, he swam off on it because I scared him. Oh man, it was probably an over, over 12, 12 inch snook. Just came, swam right up here. And then I dropped the pole where it was trying to sit it, and it scared him off. But that's so cool. Uh, totally, totally in range of a cast net, but anyone that knows anything about snook knows you can't put a net over them inside to their gills are basically like razor blades and they'll just tear a net all to shreds. I think I hooked into a big stick or something. Or there's a big blue crab at the end of this line. There's the crab. There's the crab. Big old blue crab hanging on to that shrimp. Stat. Ah. Where's the net when I needed it? Would have loved to have taken that guy home. He was definitely big enough to eat. Not that one crab would have been much of a meal, but still. Well, I guess we could officially say we're not skunked because I pulled something in out of the water. It was almost had to jump over there. All right, well, ended up switching spots. My line broke off and nothing was really biting there. So I figured it's time for a change. I'm out here at pavilion number seven. It's a little bank, not too, not too big. It's only about, I don't know, 50 feet wide too. So it's just a little canal. All right, let's see what happens. Hope you guys can hear me.
you know, this will make for a really bad fishing video if I don't actually get any fish. I don't think anyone wants to just see me sit around and talk and throw the line in the water. very subtle. All of a sudden it was there and then it was not there. And... Little catfish. He's about a foot long. Well, I got the bonus too hot again message. Like I said, I really got to get a GoPro, something that doesn't have like a screen that stays on the whole time I'm trying to record and continues to hit overheat. But I did just pull it. There he is. A little over a foot long. I think I'll keep him. He'll be... I don't know if he'll be dinner tonight or just add to my uh, frozen catfish collection in the freezer. But, and ironically, there's still shrimp and a hook left. Um, that was one of the few times that a catfish came unhooked relatively easy and didn't destroy the fish and everything else. So I think we'll throw back out there and see if we can get something to go with dinner. Sail cat. Yeah. So at least take two fish on. Well, that's two catfish for supper. Guess he need another shrimp. Third time's a charm. He's not as big as the other two.
This is a channel cat. Less uh, barbs and stuff hanging off of him, I'm pretty sure. He's definitely too small to keep, so we're just going to throw him back. I don't think he'll survive much longer after trying to get that hook out of him, but he'll just become food for something bigger. Well, with that two catfish, I think I'm, I think I'm done for the day. My frozen shrimp have about had it. They, uh, they really start to deteriorate <laughs> as they thaw out. So they're getting to the point of they really don't want to touch them anymore. So we'll uh, we'll sign this off, I think, for the day. So we got uh, the two catfish in the bucket. That's gonna be dinner later. Uh, I may try to end the video later on with uh, cleaning out the fish. We'll see. Um, but if not, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I think I'm up to uh, 20 subscribers now. Um, obviously, everybody's going to start somewhere, so the more the, the more the better. So, like I said, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. What is that on my face? <laughs> Something. Um, anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Well... I guess I picked just the right time to leave because I'm not even to the main road yet out of the park and it's starting to rain. So, so much for not getting rain today. But uh, yeah, like I said, I guess I picked the right time to leave. I got my two fish and I'm headed home.